A properly collected blood culture sample free of contaminants can help to ensure accurate results that can improve patient outcomes. For patients with signs and symptoms of sepsis, two blood culture sets should be obtained as soon as possible and before antimicrobial agents are administered. Gather all necessary materials. Bottle lot number, expiration date, fill to mark, barcode, black box, window for checking the level of blood. Area to add patient information and test label. Check that the culture bottles are within the expiration date. Do not use a bottle containing media displaying turbidity, a yellow sensor, or any other visible defects. Do not use bottles that show signs of damage, deterioration, or leakage. Wash your hands with soap and water and then dry them or apply an alcohol hand rub. Then apply well-fitting, non-sterile examination gloves. Before starting the collection procedure, confirm the patient's identity. Check that the requested laboratory test and patient information matches the patient's identity. This could be either using a printed label, form, or mobile device. Prepare the collection materials in a clean, protected area to help minimize contamination. Remove the flip caps from the blood culture bottles. Disinfect using an approved disinfectant. Use a fresh swab or applicator for each bottle. Remove the swab or applicator and allow bottle tops to dry completely. Attach the set to the collection adapter cap if it is not already connected. Note, the adapter cap may have an insert that needs to be removed when collecting blood cultures. The insert will be used if additional blood test tubes are needed. The arm is the recommended site for drawing a blood culture. Place a disposable under pad under the patient's arm. Locate the vein and apply a disposable tourniquet. Palpate to locate the vein. Disinfect the chosen venipuncture site according to your facility's approved procedure. Recommendations are to cleanse the site with friction for 30 seconds using 70% isopropyl alcohol. Allow to dry, then apply the second disinfectant following the manufacturer's recommendation. The venipuncture site is not considered aseptic until the disinfectant has fully evaporated. Do not repalpate the prepared vein before inserting the needle. Enter the vein swiftly. Blood appearing in the blood collection tubing confirms a successful venipuncture. Release the tourniquet as soon as the blood starts to flow and always if it has been in place for two minutes or more. Always start with the aerobic bottles first as the air contained in the tubing will not affect the atmosphere of the aerobic bottle. If the anaerobic bottle is collected first, the air contained in the tubing will alter the atmosphere of the anaerobic bottle. For pediatric patients, a special pediatric aerobic bottle may be used and inoculated with up to four milliliters of blood. Grasp the adapter cap always by the outer edge and don't put your finger into the center. Place the adapter cap over the aerobic bottle and press straight down to pierce the septum. Continue to hold the adapter cap down during the collection. Keep the bottle in an upright position below the patient's arm during the collection to avoid backflow of the media into the tube. Use the fill to mark to accurately gauge the sample volume, 10 milliliters per adult bottle. The vacuum inside the bottle will not stop at 10 milliliters, so be sure to not overfill. For pediatric patients, a special pediatric aerobic bottle may be used and inoculated with up to 4 milliliters of blood. Once the aerobic bottle has been inoculated, remove the bottle from the adapter cap. Insert the anaerobic bottle and repeat the collection procedure. Use the fill to mark to accurately gauge the sample volume. 
10 milliliters per adult bottle. If other blood tests are required, always collect blood cultures first. Insert the adapter if required for blood tubes to collect blood, taking caution not to put your finger into the center to avoid a needle stick. Remove the needle from the vein gently and engage the safety device if utilized by your facility. Cover the patient's puncture site with a suitable dressing and apply pressure. Discard the entire collection device into a sharps container and dispose of other materials. When complete, gently mix blood culture bottles and tubes by inverting three to five times. To properly label the bottle, use the dedicated area on the bottle. If using a test label, place the barcode label vertically so the orientation is the same as the bottle barcode. Do not cover any of the bottle barcodes or the fill to mark or window to check the blood level. Add any additional information if required, such as date, time, and collected by. Ensure that any additional labels do not cover the bottle barcode. Place bottles and blood collection tubes in a biohazardous plastic bag. If available, place the label or request form in the outer compartment of the bag. Transfer the inoculated culture bottles promptly to the testing laboratory. Three important points to remember regarding blood culture collection. First, proper disinfection is crucial to the ensuring of a contamination-free culture. Second, sufficient blood volume will help ensure optimal organism detection. And third, transfer the inoculated bottles promptly to the laboratory.